Well, this is embarrassing for Disney, just a mismanagement. It has been announced that former CEO Bob Iger is set to return to his previous position as CEO after Bob Chapek steps down due to being under pressure from various controversies of his management, resulting to Disney stock being at an all-time low. Under a new contract, Disney said Iger would remain as CEO for two years to help the company get back on track while training a new CEO to replace Iger. It is an incredible sense of gratitude and humility and I must admit a bit of amazement that I write to you this evening with the news that I'm returning to the Walt Disney Company as Chief Executive Officer. I go right to employees in an email. Just goes to show Disney and Iger himself, as he chose Chapik in the first place, can be as incompetent as the other studios and their management in Hollywood. Chapik was basically the fall guy that couldn't last a year as fans and investors were desperate in getting rid of him and bringing back Iger. While Chapik's dealings with Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill and Scarlett Johansson's dispute were very poor, people should have to give him credit in dealing with the pandemic, subsequent inflation and have to manage Disney after Iger's previous buyouts and entering the streaming market. Disney streaming is continuing to make a loss according to their recent report, despite increased subscribers. To combat this, Disney under Chapek had to raise the prices at the theme parks and Disney Plus. While that pissed off fans, it had to be done, as cost continues to rise. It's obvious that Iger dodged a bullet here, and let Chapek deal with the Disney lows boosted by the pandemic. He failed to guide Chapek through it, and deal with Disney expenses due to his spending on Fox and Disney being a streaming player. Can't help but point the finger at Bob Iger, not Chapek at this situation.